Hey, it's your boy Warwind, and I'm here to tell you about a tablet that's not exactly a tablet, but it's a great little device that I happen to use on the daily for a lot of my own artwork on Instagram. Some of you that follow me know what I'm talking about. And guess what? It's a phone. It's the Galaxy Note 5. This thing has a lot of capabilities with it, and it allows me to be able to just do just about anything like a tablet, especially when it comes down to the software I happen to use on it. Software, mm, let's say apps. The cool thing about the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is that it is really cheap on the used prices on eBay. You can get one around probably like 60 to 80 to maybe 100 bucks used without any problems. As long as you find one with a decent stylus. Now that thing has a great range of pressure sensitivity. That was a mouthful. Great range of pressure sensitivity. Great range of pressure sensitivity. Yeah. The cool thing about the Galaxy Note 5 is it is a really good device on a daily of just you carrying it around and being able to draw whenever with no limits. The app I tend to use on it is Autodesk Sketchbook and during when I was playing around with it, I had to pay for it. It wasn't expensive. It was like $1.99. Now, guess what? It's freaking free. 2020. Go figure. Now this is the one that I happen to have for a good while and if you happen to see a lot of my old blue and white sketches along with some of my gray background sketches, it was mostly done from this bad boy right here. Now, this is my upgrade. My boy. Big difference. Love this thing. Now, I know some of you are probably in that whole mindset, well, I want this professional big screen thing and I can't work on something so tiny. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You might be in the mindset that you want this industrial thing that makes you look good, feel good, and it's a big enough screen. Well, if you have that little quirk about yourself, then you might need to rethink about what you're trying to do with everything. Because just having a big screen tablet doesn't make you a great artist. And, and buying such a device that is so expensive has a learning curve. Guess what? I had to get a little used to the smaller screen, but at least my pockets weren't burning when I had it. Basically, having a phone being your drawing tablet is that the smaller the screen, the quicker and easier it is, is to actually grasp that little pen and your hand feels so much smoother on it. It got me to actually move quicker when it comes down to sketches. And I've done a lot of sketches of my own work and work for customers. Saying all this is, listen, I'm one of those guys that has multiple professional graphic tablets. I have one sitting right here. I got another one over there. I got one down here below me. And uh, I hardly use them. Now, hear me out, hear me out. When it comes down to it, when I draw on my phone and I send it to my Google Drives and pick it up onto my computer, a lot of the time I'm usually sketching or doing hard lines on my phone while I'm sitting at the diner, while I'm sitting around with family and friends and stuff like that, just doodling around. But I tend to send it to my Google Drive, pick it up on my computer, and bring it into Photoshop. After I can't talk today. One of the cool things about the sketchbook app is when you set your canvas sizes in the pixels and then you finish your sketch drawing hard lines even if you were to actually color into the media itself. Once you send it over to your Google Drive, you can pick it up and put it into your Photoshop. Do your tweaking of whatever and notice how big, crisp, and clean the actual image is compared to your computer. That is an amazing thing that Sketchbook has done. One of my biggest pieces is the largest it can actually get from the pixels I set was 60 feet by 10 feet. Are you kidding me? And that is a massive 
print at 72 dpi. Now, another benefit is that the actual stylus to the phone feels really good to the hand. Now, I'm one of those more sensitive guys. If you noticed that a lot of people tend to put a cap on the back of a pen. I'm one of those guys that hates the cap on the back of a pen. You wanna know why? My hand's sensitive enough that I feel that cap weighing the back of my hand down. Just that little bit. But when it comes down to the stylus, it's amazing. The stylus's pen pressure is freaking phenomenal. Now, I can't really remember on what exactly the pen pressure sensitivity is, but you will be gliding on this thing like it was nothing. This was just a technology tip on helping you gradually get yourself into digital art. Digital art is a great thing right now, and a lot of people are trying to get into it. Now, here's the disclaimer. If you are not at the peak that you want to be at on paper, this tip, this technology tip, will not benefit you as much as you would hope. Just because you go digital does not mean you're going to become a better artist. What you need to do is grasp everything you need to know and learn best on paper first. And I'm, I'm, I'm being serious on this. Unless you are one of those that is gung-ho and ready to actually dive into learning as much as you can, I say do so. But gain responsibility of what your own skills provide you when you pick your tools. And also, remember, the tools don't make you, you make the tools. Hopefully the information to this video actually helped you out, and it's time to wrap everything up. So, go ahead and uppercut that like button, share and subscribe, and be sure to leave a comment. Alright guys, this is your boy Whirlwind, and I am out. Sometimes I'm at the peak and other times I'm about to fall Sometimes I gotta wonder what I'm doing here at all Sometimes in my mind I just sit here and I'm guessing How can I find the answers? I don't even got the questions Sometimes I'm at the peak and other times I'm about to fall Sometimes I gotta wonder what I'm doing here at all Sometimes in my mind I just sit here and I'm guessing